I'm Captain Brian Fancher with Texas Fishing Tips and this is your weekly fishing report. We've had a beautiful week so far with bright sunny days and light winds up until just recently. I've been spending a lot of time hitting the Peniscal rocks all along here all the way up to Corrales. Now as I've said before there's a long bar of rocks that runs up in here. My favorite thing to do lately has been take a popping quirk, you know, on a slide about that long with about a three foot leader on the bottom of it. With a, with a jig head that makes some noise like a rattling jig head and about a four foot long sand deal or paddle tail. And work that top water like a, or the, the cork like a top water. It's going to make a lot of splashing noise and it's going to attract the fish up. Now work that inside edge of that rocks with that right there. And what's going to happen is the fish are going to hear that jig, that jiggling and that rattling sound of that cork and they're going to come up and they're going to hit the lure. Now also up here around Corrales to Black Bluff, there's a sandbar that runs this whole area. You can see the off color right there. I like to drift the edge of that sandbar. There's a drop off to about two foot up to about one foot right there. Fish are holding good along there. Redfish will be running the outside edge of this bar as well as some good flounder holding on the sand pockets along there. East Clayburg area has blocked most of the east wind if you work right inside the cut right there. Now be careful there's a big piles of rocks here and big piles of rocks up in here but if you come around them and you drift through this area it's been holding lots of nice trout in the drop-offs and in, this, in, the, in the grass flats along there. The cut through here down in Compuerta it's still holding a lot of good black drum in the 17, 18 inch range, as well as several speckled trout. They're not big specks, but they're, they're keepers. Now working with a shrimp, or again with that cork and a, and a plastic, or just a plastic bumping it along the bottom. Rocky Slough still has redfish running through it. They're finicky right now, but when they're schooled up, you can get them with a live shrimp, or a spoon, or a short uh, plastic paddle tail. We've got tournament season coming up and my first tournament will be April 13th, so I'll be on the water a lot pre-fishing for the tournament. Be sure to go check out my blog at Texas Fishing Tips where I'll be giving daily fishing reports about what I'm doing and where I'm catching them. We've got the boat show coming up. It's going to be at Redfish Bay Boathouse in Aransas Pass on April 20th to the 22nd. As well as don't forget to go to Texas Fishing Tips to register for our weekly t-shirt and tackle giveaway and trolling motor brought to you by Gulf Coast Marine. Thank you for watching. I'm Captain Brian Fancher.